Hi, Ms. Tucker here. Today we're looking at um, our third class of macromolecules called proteins. Um, and this is actually pretty intense, so we're actually going to do it in three different videos instead of just one or two like we've done before. If you look down here, we've got a couple of different diagrams about proteins. And I know you guys have heard about proteins because, I don't know, you're human, you eat food proteins, you know, could already think of some foods that have protein in them, but we're going to learn a little bit more about them than you probably already know. So the first couple of things you should know about proteins is that they're unbranched chains. So we're looking again at our structure where you've got a lot of really repetitive units, just like what we saw with um, glucose and uh, long chain carbohydrates like cellulose and starch of amino acids. So amino acids are the monomer of proteins. And they are linked by peptide bonds. So a peptide bond is just, a, just particular for proteins, but it still forms water as a byproduct, so it's still called a dehydration reaction. And the small chains um, of proteins are called peptides, and the large chains are called polypeptides. So it's a peptide bond that forms um, in between uh, different amino acids to form a protein. So this is the amino acid structure. Some of you guys have already seen this. Um, we've got, and they, they're all the same, where we've got this amino group. You've also seen it with an NH3. Um, but this is the amino group. And so anytime, there's our introduction of nitrogen. And anytime you see nitrogen, um, you're going to probably see an ending of uh, I, N, E, or E, I, N are always going to end in the ene sound, like protein. That's because it has an amino or amine group attached to it. Uh, this is the carboxylic acid group. You guys have already seen this when we talked about um, we talked about lipids, and that always looks like so. We've got a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, so C O O H is how we're going to see this. And hydrogens here, which doesn't really do much. Um, this is called the alpha carbon. So this little symbol. A little fish symbol means as stands for alpha, and that is um, kind of the main carbon in the whole structure. And then this is a side chain, and that's the one thing that makes amino acids different from one another. And let's look at a bunch of those all together. So this is a particular example, and you have to stretch your brain just a little bit because we haven't really shown or looked at this particular model. But if you look, you can see that consistent form. So nitrogen now, we've got oxygen red, carbon black, hydrogen white, and nitrogen is represented by blue. So now we're gonna see that nitrogen in there. And the nitrogen are the blue molecules. And don't worry, whoops, that was awesome. Um, we will build some of these in class. But we've got our carboxyl group here, here's my alpha carbon, and then I've got this functional group. And so that's where they're a little bit different. This is one functional group, this is a functional group, and those functional groups have very particular properties. Some of them are acidic, some are basic, uh, some are hydrophilic, and some are hydrophobic. And so it's actually going to cause that protein, when it gets really long, it's going to cause that protein to fold into a very particular shape um, called its conformation or its natural shape. Um, so we've got yellow down here. So sulfur, oh, scribbling that out, sulfur is yellow. Sulfur is yellow, and I don't know why I spell it like that. Sometimes I spell it like this. I don't know if there's a difference. Anyway, doesn't matter. So we're gonna see some more colors in here as we build through, um, or build all these different amino acids. The important thing to remember is that you've always got this amino group this carboxyl group, and then my hydrogen here. And uh, tomorrow in class, I will actually give you a sheet with all of these drawn on there, so you can have a reference to that um, if you need it when you're memorizing the structure of your particular amino acid. Yes, that's right, you get to memorize one, and I get to pick it. And this is just a diagram. Again, you've already seen all of this. Um, this is a dehydration reaction. And you can tell it's a dehydration reaction because the water is coming out. So, and I'm going to say this slowly, the peptide bond forms on the hydroxide of the carboxyl group and hydrogen of the amino group. Carboxyl 
Uh, the carboxyl group is the COOH, and the amino group is the NH2 or NH3. That's where that water is gonna form and come out, and then you've got, um, this is a peptide bond, which is forming a polypeptide chain. So this should be pretty familiar. I mean, everybody knows what a dehydration reaction is because we've talked about it a million times so far. But this is just a diagram so that you can look at that and see what it is um, or how it is that that hydrogen forms. Okay, that was a pretty, pretty short video today. Some things to remember. Small proteins are called peptides and large proteins are called polypeptides. A lot of them are gonna end in I and E or E and E and so you uh, that can tell that you should look for some nitrogen somewhere if you see that ending. And the structural similarities, of course, are the amino group and the carboxyl. And also there is that alpha carbon in the center. So we'll see that and again, we're gonna build some of these things. We're gonna see pictures of them over and over and over and over and over and over again. Trust, you will not be able to easily forget these things. And something that may, I don't know if I mentioned, but there's 20 amino acids. So every protein in your body from your, the stuff that makes up muscles to the stuff that um, your hair is made of and your fingernails are made of and all the stuff that kind of sticks you and holds you together, um, they're all very different proteins, but they're all made out of 20 amino acids. Don't forget to take the quiz. quiz. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, be sure to jot them down. We are gonna play with this a little bit in class tomorrow and um, have a good night. Thanks.